It just feels like an old 2013 anime. Well, I let this anime speak for itself and I was patient with this anime. Not because it was about a stepsister, of course. Because it felt like a genuinely good anime. Not because it was about a stepsister, right? Got it? Yeah, yeah. The anime was fun, to be honest. And I loved the pacing and the music and the entire anime, of course. But how come I just watch the anime without criticizing it, right? Not like I make anime, but I do anyways. Cause why not? I'm a viewer. Okay, let's get to it. Oh uh, well, now after completing the anime, I went online to see some reviews and um a lot of mixed opinions of people though. Well, the thing is, this is a rom com. I won't say rom com, but a romance anime which mostly depends on the characters rather than the story. The story is majorly focused on the characters rather than the story, and the story was a little messed up. Yeah. Well, we'll get to each part one by one. Cause the side characters. There were a lot of side characters for an anime like this, and to be honest, I was happy they were. At least getting some side characters so that the story will, you know, flourish a little. But no, they did the side characters dirtier than they ever could. Let's get to a point. They just pushed all the side characters away. Like, like they just pushed almost every character that tried to barge into the two characters and try to develop a story. So for like the people who love Shiori, the episode 5 for them might be the biggest nightmare they ever had in their life. Yo, let's go! Shiori for the win! There, fam? What's up? Um, hello? Uh, I thought we were watching together. Uh, hero? 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 Are you there? Hero? Hero? Answer me! Hero? Where you at, bro? I thought we were watching this together. I really like the side characters in this one. Like, like everyone just ends up liking the side characters though, uh, rather than the main characters. Like, the main characters can just piss off, yeah? Well, moving on. The main girl, Saki Ayase, the main girl in the show. Well, she had a lot of character development. Well, I don't really see much in the main boy character, but this girl had a crazy, like, I mean, crazy, you know, like, you know, like crazy <laughs> character development. Yeah, don't believe me? Yo, from here to this, to this, to this, to this, and to this. Like, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I recognize this haircut. I, I recognize this hairstyle, though. This hairstyle looks similar to... Uh... Oh. N now, I, now I get it. Um, Sad. Like, happy? Oh, like, uh, am, am I nervous? Uh, surprised? Or, like, sh uh, shocked? Like, do I even have that over? Well, in the end, they both never come together and become a cumble, yeah? Uh, just pure depression on steroids. Like, <laughs> That was a bad one. But I loved the way the story progressed. Like, like it would have been a good one if it was a 24 episodes anime. Like, there could have been some room for improvement, but there was literally zero to none room for improvement in the 12 episode anime. And the way the story progressed is also like, it's not made for a 12 episode anime, right? Like, we, we can get a season 2. Like, I want a season 2. Well, let's get back to the topic of the video. Like, it's hard to imagine a story which is so simple and grounded, to be honest. And, but for me, it turned out to be a sleeping pill. Like, one night, Uh, it's Sunday tomorrow. I might as well watch some anime and catch up to it. Like, so today I'll watch, um, yo, yeah, give my Seikatsu. Yeah, I have to catch up on this anime. Like, I have to make a video on it soon. Like, let's watch the anime. I love the spacing. Oh my goodness. Oh, to be honest, it's such a great anime. There was a lot of, and by a lot, I mean a lot of conversation-based scenes which really just made it really boring and monotonous. Which can cause many watchers to- What he say? What he say? <laughs> can cause many watchers to- Oh my god, bro. Feel sleepy, like even a scene where you have to like butter a bread can last a whole 15 seconds. Like I know it is a style of the storytelling, but but animation studio we are getting sleepy, bro. Like get over characters. This anime is a story of an unrequited love of two robots. Like why did I say robots? Because they don't have f***ing emotions. About two robots who discover human emotions as they grow closer to themselves and to each other and the entire world. Okay, it's just some character development which will soon perish into their own databases and wouldn't even give an output. <laughs> I, just I, I just made a technical jo joke. Um, the tech students or the tech people will understand this I get but one of the robot does give an output and confesses to the other but the other fucking gives up and says I'm your stepsis I should behave and be your little sister I don't want to create problems for mom and dad like like bro what I 
Like, uh, like to, what I want, bro? What I, what I, I don't even have words for this now. But, but in short, like to explain it in a simple way, it just feels like a diluted version of domestic girlfriend. Like missing the depth of the plot, character interactions, and romantic tensions that would make the original series so engaging. Well, to end it off, I would just like to say that the story was fun at some point, and by no means, and by no means, I mean to hate on this anime. It's just that it could have been better and fun if it was made properly with some good story pace and progression. Well, I like this anime as a good seasonal watch but I just can't keep watching this thing again and again. It's a nice change in pace but not the best yet. Well, what do you think? Did you watch this anime and what are your thoughts on this anime? Let me know Let me know down in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Like, hold up, hold up. Let me just pull up my analytics. 79% of you are not subscribed. Like, I can't see this. I want 100% of you subscribed. So like, subscribe to my channel if you like this video and please Actually, you know what? Like this video and share it with your fellow weep friends. I'm gonna make a whole new video on the summer 2024 animes and with that, also I'm gonna review all the animes that I've watched. And I also stream every Sunday. So yeah, I don't have a schedule yet. But if you'd like to suggest a game or if you'd like to suggest a time for me to stream, let me know down in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Matane!